By the end of the apartheid era, Polesmoor was in a state of anarchy. The numbers gangs took advantage and took control. They ruled through violence, murder, and terror. The situation inside the prison was chaotic. It was very tense, so much so that the personnel were too scared to enter the prison. Over the years, South Africa has changed. Johnny Jansen, the first black man to head maximum security here, wants the prison to change along with it. He realizes he needs to do something as bold as the gangs. So he brings in an expert in conflict resolution. But the expert herself is soon caught off guard on the first visit. I'd never been in a prison before. And as I walked down the corridor, the faces looking back at me, I saw my brother, my uncle, my friend. They looked no different. And I was very sad. I was struck by such a deep sadness. Locked in their cells, the men of the numbers exchange their messages. They agree that Joanna is a threat to the gang system. Thomas N. Galobert, senior member and fighting general of the 26, is the most hostile. I first thought Joanna had come to kill the number. And if you try to kill the number, we must kill you first. This Joanna had to be stabbed in here. I did everything in my power to stab her. But perhaps God was with her without her even knowing. In cell 191, the inmates meet to discuss Joanna and the threat she poses. To one another, they voice their fierce loyalty to the numbers and its code of violence. But privately, some view Joanna as a chance for change. The gangs inside prison will keep me here. Why? because they need me. My wife and children want me outside because they need me there. I can't be in two places at the same time. No, it's now it tears a man apart. Joanna goes right to the heart of the numbers system and invites its leaders to take part in a series of workshops. They gather in an isolated cell in the prison roof. This is no ordinary cell. It's where Nelson Mandela was held for six years. You, the place um, where he began negotiations with the old apartheid regime. This is an historic occasion. The symbolism is not lost on them. Welcome to the Change Begins With Me series. My role is to facilitate a process where we can share the wisdom, the knowledge, the experience that lies in this room. And so I want to encourage each of you to participate. Joanna's goal is to help the inmates resolve conflict through dialogue, not violence. Their skepticism is universal. Most men here have killed in cold blood. Violence is the only way they know. So we're going to go right into our exercise now. She encourages members of rival gangs to drop their guard and mingle indiscriminately. Okay, groups of five. Stay there. Have you all got a partner? Okay, now you, that's your partner for the next exercise. Meanwhile, down in the courtyard, gang members grow uneasy about what the leaders are doing on the roof. The decision is quickly made. Attending Joanna's workshop could get you killed. I'm scared, yes. Because the last law states that the day I talk about this thing, that day I will die. But I've made my decision. Thomas, the fighting general who wants Joanna murdered, doesn't join them. But even he begins to wonder. 
There's a big war between the number and change. If I tell you that I want to leave the number, then I'll lose my head. Despite the danger, Thomas decides to meet with Joanna. I admire this courage to admit that to me. And it actually inspired me to build a relationship with him. I think the risk was probably greater for him than for me. Okay. En my doel is nie om jou te dwing om jou gevoelens te deel nie, maar as ons ook iets te help as understand conflict. Wat doen ons met ons gevoelens in die tronk? We press it down. We suppress it. Why do we do that? We don't want other people to see. Why else? We are men scared. We are scared? And we are men. And you are men. Because you got that message from birth. You're a boy and boys don't cry. And men don't cry. And gang members don't cry. And gang leaders don't cry. Thank you. I come, Minza. Pass it, man. It's only day seven of the workshops, and the gangsters already show signs of transformation. You can stand there and you can take a big leap. What do you mean run and just jump, just jump? Okay, guys, I'm going to do this now because I want to feel the way I've never felt before. I've never been kissed by people in my whole life. Right? I'm really... <laughs> <laughs> By the end of the workshops, Joanna must prepare these gangsters for the toughest work yet to come, finishing the transformation on their own.